I'm in Bath. The plan today is to start riding the Slodonia 360. My old mate Chris and I, he's going to be riding the Africa Twin. I'm going to be riding the Energica Everibele. The first thing for me is to go and get charged. I think I've got about 25% battery remaining, but um, as you can probably make out, there's no, no real possibility of charging the bike. So the first thing is to go and get the bike charged. And there is a place nearby called Kletur, like a little shopping cafe place, but I'm actually gonna head to Mukhunsleth. There's a couple of charge points there. I'm gonna go there because we're that bit further up. Because after that, things get a bit sketchy in terms of charging. Let's see how we get on. Always a relief when it's when that comes up and the dashboard goes on. I registered for a Swarco account last night. I haven't used a Swarco charge point before, so I just registered last night, put my uh, bank card in. So I just had to log in and I started it through the app. I was concerned for a minute about this uh, diesel generator, but it's for the uh, it's for the breast scanning unit. And here's Chris. Sure enough. Noisy bloody thing. Carnarvon then. Is it out if we go south? Unhappy doggy. 16%.
South Stack. We made it. West of Hollyhead. Right. Just the stretch back to the hotel. being well we are fully charged it's looking good 100% wonderful so that is the great thing about staying somewhere where you can charge overnight and it's the great thing the EVs have got going for them contrary to yesterday where I was reliant on public charging Obviously you get the opportunity to do private charging and it's done overnight, all ready to go. Yeah, the one thing we found about these uh, jivvy panniers, they are jivvy panniers, even though they're Energica branded. These clips here. Well, first of all, you've got to be careful about the weight, obviously, in these. These clips, just to explain. So these panniers are actually fairly straightforward to mount oops you line up that there and then these clip in here I'll explain the cable tie in a second so those clip over you just give it actually you pull it you should hear them both click if they don't click there's an issue and I'm, I'm now just pushing them quite tight against it uh, however, one of them wasn't quite properly clicked in yesterday on the other side and subsequently it came, uh, it just opened up and so the panny was slightly hanging off. Uh, fortunately Chris was behind me so he mentioned it. Um, but this is my solution and I will be using this from now on when travelling with panniers on here. Um, just a reusable cable tie. I've got loads of these. These are great. Absolutely brilliant, these cable ties. So you just unclip it there. I can't do this with one hand. But you get the gist. Just tighten it. <clears throat> and then that's going to obviously keep it tight against the uh, tighten. So it's an extra, extra level of security. But uh, once done that yesterday, was no more problems. It's keeping it so tight against it, so there's no no possibility of it coming unclipped. Yeah, job done. This is where we stayed last night. The Gazelle Hotel in Glengarth. That's the Menai Bridge over there. And just behind that is Flavoy Pulguin Gilgogera Hudgar Pulsantusilipovach. Isn't it? Yeah, all right, Welsh speakers, have a go at me. I don't care. As you can see, very pretty location. Lovely place to live. Look at that view. The sun just peeking its face through the clouds. We got lucky with the weather yesterday. Hopefully it'll stay that way today. Good, right, breakfast time.
at Machunleth. So I've done 115 miles. They got 19% remaining. Alright, back on old familiar territory. Uh, this is Bannertines in Shrewsbury. Stopped here in June with uh, James Coates on the way up to uh, John O'Groats. So I've just done 58 miles since the last charge and I'm 57%. That's it then, Snowdonia 360 done. I've done 613 miles since Friday evening and hit 6,000 miles on the odometer. Uh, really nice weekend, weather stayed kind to us. I just got a tiny spot of rain coming back from Shrewsbury to home. But otherwise, uh, yeah, the weather gods smiled on us and really enjoyed that weekend, it was good. So, looking forward to the next adventure.